Farming is hot. Egg is hot. Food is hot. Where does food come from? Who's growing it? What are those people like? It just seemed like very, you'll pardon the expression, fertile territory for writing and songwriting and an expression of affection and humor. I didn't know how to tell you, darling. I didn't know how to find the words. But it's been about a hundred years now since I've woken up and heard the birds. I've had enough of the concrete jungle. Had enough of the glass and steel. You smell like cows, you guys. I wanted to express some of that feeling in a song. And the basic message of it is, we are going to live and then pass away, but the soil is here. The landscape is here. Uh, let's honor that because we're not the last ones to live on this planet. We're not the last ones who are gonna live on this planet. Live Us All is funded in part by the Nebraska Arts Council and the Nebraska Cultural Endowment. It's been about a hundred years now since I've woken up and heard the birds. I've had enough of the concrete jungle, had enough of the glass and steel. I need a little bit of weeds and thistles, I need a little bit of something real. Bye-bye skyline, disappearing in the rearview mirror. Hello sunshine, and the air is getting clearer. Love you, honey. I just gotta get back to the land I grew up on the open prairie sky above soil underneath Alfalfa between my toes a blade of oats straw between my teeth Yes, I've always been a little bit backwards And I do just the best I can But I was raised in a barn, my darling I was born with a farmer's tan Bye-bye skyline I Disappearing in the rearview mirror Hello sunshine And the air is getting clearer Love you, honey, but I hope you understand I just gotta get back to the land And hell if I know what it means Might not mean a hill of beans But I do know what beans mean They mean about 12 bucks a bushel Corn will bring you six Get back, 
get back, or get back to where you once belonged on the land, people, yeah. Thank you, everybody. The project is called Hayseed. Songs about farms, farmers, and the people who love them. This song is called The Revenge of Kevin Oberbreckling. All the city kids, they had it better than us. They got to go have fun. The minute school was done, they didn't ride the bus. All the city kids, they had brand new show ins. Ours had rusty tires held together with pliers and some cotter pins. All the city kids, they never did no chores. We were baling hay, milking twice a day. They were making s'mores. The city kids, all the city kids, all the city kids, all the city kids, they had their own TVs, had carpet on the stairs, they had beanbag chairs, they kept diaries. All the city kids, they had fluffy little dogs. A dog that sits and begs, a dog with all four legs, didn't smell like hogs. All the city kids had fancy clothes. All the city kids looked down their nose back then. But that was way back. When. Now all the city kids, they have become adults. They want to be someone, they want to get things done, they want to get results. They want organic fruit, they want organic meat. Come to the city park, it's called the farmer's market and it fills the street. And our food is good. But our price is steep It takes them by surprise I see them blink their eyes I see them nearly weep But we were just 4-H We were the FFA High time they learn How the tables turn Now they're gonna pay All the city kids All the city kids Are you people in North Platte the city kids? <laughs> it's a town of 25,000. Bet you're the city kids. You know how we knew the, the city kids were in eastern Iowa where I grew up on a farm? You know how we knew? They had ski jackets. <laughs> and they had lift tickets attached to the tags of their ski jackets. And they paraded them around school and they lorded it over us. <laughs> but that was way back. <laughs> now farmers are cool, which is a great thing for those of us with farming in our heritage and farming in our future. I'm a songwriter who grew up on a farm in eastern Iowa and uh, have been lucky enough to have a career writing songs and performing uh, for people all, all over the United States for 25 years. So there's that quote from 
Paul Harvey, I think the radio announcer, right? God made a farmer. Uh, but God must have been distracted momentarily and so screwed up and made another musician. <laughs> That's what happened to me. Uh, I don't have it. My sister has it. Uh, but I don't have it. That impulse to stay and to garden and to grow things, I don't, I don't have it. The good fortune I've had is that even now, uh, my parents still own the farm. And that permanence is a real refuge for me, I have to say. I mean, to go back and see the fields where your, your father worked, your brothers worked, and you yourself drove a baler, even though you might not have loved it at the time. But to see that landscape and to know the contours of that landscape and to see that the contours of that landscape are intact is a great comfort in a life full of change, in a world full of change. It's really wonderful to have something that remains the same. Give me Chicago any day. And let me be hot. Ain't got what we got. But I'm a musician. And with music, I can express affection and appreciation. And that's the soul of this project, I think. I had a conversation with Ann Chang, the artistic director at the Lead Center. And we had coffee and we were talking. And, and she said, What are you up to these days? I said, Well, I've begun to write songs about uh, the farm and what it means to me. And she said, agriculture, hmm, that is something that Nebraskans know a lot about. And this conversation developed into a commission by the Lead Center uh, along uh, with a partnership with the Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources uh, here at University of Nebraska uh, to create a series of songs, almost like paintings about life for farmers. And it became this project called Hayseed. It was a perfect match for us to um, be part of creating a brand new work of art that celebrates agriculture, farms, farming, and the people who love them. With your eyes to the west You keep watching the sky While the leaves start to curl Cause the crops are so dry It's like everyone says It does no good to complain Gives you something to do While you wait for the rain Take a walk through the fields The corn's about to set ears Start praying to God
Some taillights in a cornfield off a of highway three. What the occupants was up to ain't no mystery to me. Couple of natural born farm kids acting naturally. You can bet that they were steaming up the windshield, burning up the back seat, doing all Working on a big yield, sweating in the high heat, neath a big old soybean moon above, raising a bumper crop, a bumper crop of love. Honey, when I was in high school, uh, that's what we called a date. Disappearing in a bean field in daddy's old 88. Me and my farmer darling Harlan, we used to stay out late. Oh, you can bet we were steaming up the windshield, burning up the back seat, doing all the things every healthy kid dreams of. Yeah, working on a big yield. Crap, bump of crap of love, love, love. Every year is a real good year for love, love, love. Let's take the car and get out of here. Cause you know how much I love you. I love our little routine, baby. But we've been getting past your 
It's really remarkable and we've been able to not only celebrate the heritage of Nebraska through Hayseed but also um, connect with people that otherwise we normally don't have a connection with because of so much of Nebraska is, is all about agriculture and so now we have this wonderful interwoven relationship with Hayseed. So the word Hayseed uh, is, a, is a derogatory term people used to use for rural folks. And I wanted to send up the notion that, uh, that rural folks used to be the square ones. But now things have changed and ag is hot and there is some prosperity and new opportunities in agriculture. He wore a straw hat on his head and a tomcat in his smile. I told him he should understand this before he walked me down the aisle. You can have the money from the oats, the money from the cow, the money from the goats, and the money from the sow. But don't you ever touch the egg money That's crossing the line Don't you ever touch the egg money The egg money is mine We had seven good years then the trouble all began First he started nipping at the gin Then he started seeing Mary Ann Then he started gambling dice Lost the horses and the plow I felt behind the stove There was nothing there now He had taken all the egg money That's crossing the line don't you ever touch the egg money The egg money is mine Leaving would have been the thing to do No one left in 1922 So the angel that I am poured the coffee in his cup, served his toast with butter and jam, and the eggs were sunny side up, and the eggs were maybe too old, and the eggs had maybe gone bad, three days and the body went cold, doctor said it's Terribly sad The egg money That's crossing the line Don't 
Don't you ever touch the egg money The egg money is mine Trina Hamill on the harmonica. When you have side men like I had, or side women in this case, um, you are smart to uh, put their wow power in front of this audience. Hello, you can do some dust. I had the good fortune to have with me Trina Hamlin, harmonica Hi. player. It's a great sandwich. Natalia Zuckerman plays lap steel. What? Deluxe. Uh, we have a whole hour. To have Trina do her thing with the harmonica, it just, she's world class. And the amazement, again, communicates something to an audience, even if they don't really want to hear the songs that I've written or they don't care for my particular style of things. Everyone in the world can understand what Trina Hamlin does when she plays harmonica. There's no explanation necessary. chemistry. Thank God, we're all friends. You know, we're all singer-songwriters. We understand what we, each other does because we do it ourselves. And it's getting late. Just have more of my voice in there. Thanks, friend. It's like playing in the sandbox with your best friends, you know. You just build it up and tear it down and build it up again. So it's, uh, it's, it's such a pleasure. And to have Natalia with her Brooklyn sensibility, right? There are some kids sitting out there in the audience watching Natalia going, right? She's kind of wry and funny and hip in this way. I want to, I'm kind of hip and wry and funny. Yeah, like there's room for me in the world. Yeah, I mean, to just bring somebody from Brooklyn to uh, Scott's Bluff, that's a gift in itself, right? Those two are two of my best friends in the world, so I get to play music with them too. It's just, it's an incredible blessing, really, every day. And uh, they're so, yeah, we're stupidly talented that I'm on my toes also. I feel like I'm going to school every night playing with Susan, for sure. In a very loving way, she pushes to um, go beyond your comfort zone. We kind of go on autopilot a lot, so to, to really have to push myself musically was such a gift for me as a player. I really felt like I got to dig in a little bit. May I suggest, may I suggest to you, may I suggest that this is the best part of your life. May I suggest this time is blessed for you, this time is blessed and shining, almost blinding bright. Just turn your head and you'll begin to see the thousand reasons that were just beyond.
around your side The reasons why Why I'd suggest to you Why I'd suggest this is the best part of your life There is a world that's been addressed to you Addressed to you, intended only for your eyes. It's a secret world, like a treasure chest to you, of private scenes and brilliant dreams that mesmerize. A tender lover's smile, a tiny baby's hands, the million stars. That fill the turning sky at night And I suggest Yes, I suggest to you Yes, I suggest this is the best part of your life There is a hope been expressed in you it's the hope of seven generations maybe more and this is the faith that they invest in you it's that you do one better than was done before and inside you know inside you understand Inside you know what's yours to finally set right. And I suggest, yes, I suggest to you, yes, I suggest this is the best part of your life. This is a song comes from the west to you comes from the west comes from the slowly setting sun this is a song with a request of you to see how very short these endless days will run and when they're gone and when the dark descends Oh, we'd give anything for one more hour of light. And I suggest this is the best part of your life. Arts Across Nebraska is central to the mission of the Elite Center. Um, our mission is to educate, inspire, and entertain the people of Nebraska through the performing arts. He wore a straw hat on his head. It's really bringing arts and music and theater and dance to people across the state and to communities that otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity to experience the arts.
this. Yeah. We enjoyed meeting people just on the, you know, the the, the trip advisor quotient of the of the of the tour. Where do you go tonight for margaritas? Oh, go down there. What's the best diner? Oh, go there. It's one of the best parts of the whole thing, honestly. The first tour we did, I honestly didn't know anything about the state of Nebraska. People are really nice here. I mean, you may have a few mean people, but honestly, I kind of think if somebody mugs you in Lincoln, they say, listen, I'm really sorry. I have to take your, your wallet and, 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 and I'm sorry. This song came about after a, a previous tour of Arts Across Nebraska. We played a show in uh, a couple different places. One was McCook, Nebraska, and after, um, after Trina was on that tour with me, and after the tour, we got some evaluations back from uh, kids and audience members all across Nebraska. That was really, really wonderful, really wonderful um, experience to read all the comments. Uh, but one comment broke my heart a little bit. In fact, it broke my heart a lot. This, Little girl wrote, I think she was like, you know, second or third grade or something, and she wrote in little girl cursive, you know, just when you're learning cursive, she wrote, you know, thank you, Susan Werner, for coming to this waste of cornfields. <laughs> and so this is a song I wrote for that kid, wherever that kid may be now. Listen to me, kid. Listen to me, good. Let me make myself understood. You say you're restless here amidst the miles of corn in this great state where you were born. Well, don't do like I did and get a great big head. Go taking this all for granted Listen to me, kid There's something to be said For blooming where you are planted I recognize that The world's going to pass you by You dream of Paris and Rome Places you haven't seen yet Well, that's why God made the internet Oh, don't do like I did And get a great big head And go taking this all for granted Listen to me, kid, there's something to be said for blooming where you are planted. There's something to be said for wide open space where you can see the sunrise, feel the wind in your face. There's something to be said out in the fields and certain satisfactions only time reveals there's something to be said for keeping lifelong friends and for starry nights out way beyond where the highway is but you don't want advice you're gonna do what you do you might leave 
the same as I did too. You might have regrets, or you might have none. Or like me, you might have just this one. Oh, don't do like I did. And get a great big head. And get all cynically disenchanted. Listen to me, kid. There's something to be said for blooming where you are, where the people you knew are. The fortunate few are Nebraska. Sounds like alcohol to me. <laughs> I'm good with that. We had a great night at uh, Oldie's Big Game Steakhouse in Baxter, Nebraska. A few of you have been there? Yeah, there's nothing quite like eating bison with a big head of bison looking down on you. There's nothing quite like that. Uh, we stopped at Carhenge. Have you all seen the wonder that is Carhenge? Yeah, it scrambles your phone, I'm telling you. It scrambles your phone, you go in there, right? It did afterwards, it did. That's it did. what it was. Oh, I didn't that. That. <laughs> That's what it was. Musicians doing science. Musicians doing science. Here's another example. Here's another example of a musician doing science. All right. So uh, people ask me when they hear that I'm from the state of Iowa, they say, wow, they say, Iowa was really ahead of the curve on same-sex marriage. And I say, yeah. And they say, you know, what accounts for that? And uh, I have a theory, uh, which I would like to share, share with you now. Skies of blue and fields of green, water full of atrazine, hundred acres to explore, acres full of alachlor. Hey, hey, ho, ho Mom and Dad, how could they know? Ho, ho, hey, hey Herbicides done made me gay When I was a tiny tot 2,4-D and Paraquat Deep beneath my prairie home Fractured my X chromosome Hey, hey, my, my All these years I wondered why My, my, hey, hey Herbicides done made me gay And if you're Glyphosate, then the chance is good, the chance is great. That you much prefer a same sex mate. It's true from Maine to California. Listen. Before you spray those weeds, think exactly where that leads. Generations just like me, watching endless hours of glee. Hey, hey, dang, dang, singing along with the Katie Lang. Dang, dang, hey, hey, herbicide. 
lights done made me gay. I've written all this material about shared concerns, shared familiar characters, shared language uh, that the people of Nebraska really could relate to. Thank you, thank you for coming. Sure. Maybe the most rewarding thing was the conversations with people afterwards who heard themselves in the songs and who laughed and recognized themselves in the stories and the characters. Boy, that's a great feeling when you're an artist is to feel like, yeah, they saw themselves and they've never seen themselves in that specific way in material before. This is a song I wrote uh, for my dad, really. And um, uh, my dad grew up uh, in the first uh, five years, 10 years of his life, they, they farmed with horses. And some of you may remember farming with horses and the arrival of the tractors. Um, but this is really a love song for my dad. going to work he is hitching up his horses and his favorite team of course is big old Jupiter and Mars the moon is going to work and his plow blade is a crescent and the evening's warm and pleasant is time to plant the stars He will turn the rich dark earth of night He will scatter sparkling seeds of light And they will grow until they glow And then the cities all will come to claim and who can blame them? So make a wish on one before they disappear. The moon is going to work. And you can hear him if you're listening. There's a little tune he's whistling. It is time to plant the stars. Soak up the sun like flowers through the daylight hours. And then they'll blossom in the night before our eyes. The moon is going to work. And with diligence and patience, he grows the mighty constellations. It is time to plant the stars. It is time to plant the stars Hitch them up now These songs seem to spark in the audience intense memories and associations of their own experience uh, growing up uh, in rural Nebraska. And the kinds of, I think the specific memories are what's really powerful. This attachment is so profound. I didn't know all that was in there. I knew it was in there for me, 
I didn't know how deep it went for so many people. I think we're smart to keep some feeling about farming because there's an identity in farming that doesn't exist in many other professions. People are happy to tell you they're a farmer. There are lots of professions where people don't volunteer what it is they do all day, probably because they work indoors. It's not that fun to work indoors. Cubicles aren't romantic. But a field, working in the early morning or while the sun is setting, there's feeling to that. And yeah, there's poetry to that. It's okay to choose that. In fact, it's wise to choose that because then you'll want to spend years at it. It's a happy way to spend your working life. And then it's a happy way to spend your evening when you're done working. Sitting outside in a lawn chair, pop open a beer, watch the stars put on a show. That's the Milky Way. Damn right, that's the Milky Way. That's the whole Milky Way right there. Ringing up the bell in the back of my mind Did trouble me To have an arts endeavor that's sponsored by not only an arts um, center, but also an ag school, uh, that's pretty innovative. And it made for some really interesting conversations as the project went on. Uh, I learned a lot that I didn't know about where agriculture is at today. Um, by talking with uh, people at INR. Uh, it informed the project and also brought a certain kind of gravitas to the thing. Like, this is not just some wacky artist running around with her little point of view. Uh, I learned a lot in terms of agriculture and what's going on today. I'm grateful for that. I think that it made for a better project. And again, it's ambitious to put arts and ag together. I mean, really, who's going to think of that? Maybe just somebody in Nebraska. We were going west from Lincoln on this most recent Arts Across Nebraska tour. And I kind of started to think there's got to be a song. There's got to be a song. And so this melody kind of started showing up and I thought, is that it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wanted it to be an odd kind of, kind of a sing-songy but odd rhythmic thing. I wanted it to stick in your head. Not, not in a predictable way, in, an un, in, in some slightly, slightly off-meter way that would stay with you, really. Uh, and this melody started showing up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Nebraska, how I love you. How I love your windswept skies and your prayer. Winding rivers and the western hills that rise high above the plain. Somewhere in the distance, I can hear a train singing, Oh, Nebraska, my true love. I am never leaving you again. 